Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Ali Khan. Now I'm going to start the problems on journal ledger and trial balance. That is unit number one. Last five videos I have completed the meaning of the term financial accounting, objectives, advantages, limitations. Then I've explained about concepts, accounting concepts and accounting conventions. What is the, what are the implication of these accounting concepts and accounting conventions on accounting system? Double entry system I have explained. Then uh, accounting process, accounting cycle, then what is journal, what is ledger, what is trial balance, all these things I have already explained in the last five videos. So now I'm going to start the problems on this journal, ledger and trial balance. So if you have not watched those last five videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject accounting for management. Select the videos of this unit number one. Be perfect regarding the basic concepts, then only you can understand the problems. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, first problem. See the problem number one. Uh, prepare trial balance for the following balances as on 31st March 2021. Balances are given and amounts are given. In preparing the trial balance, you must know which item will show debit balance and which item will show credit balance. Remember the rule. All the assets, expenses and losses will show debit balance. All incomes, gains and liabilities will show credit balance. So this rule you remember. So whatever expenses, debit balance. Whatever incomes, credit balances. Assets, debit balance. Liabilities, credit balance. Sales will show credit balance. Sales return will show debit balance. Purchases will show debit balance. Purchase return will show credit balance. Capital will show credit balance. Drawings will show debit balance. These are the points you have to remember. Now, first point, cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold is the expenditure. It will be taken on the debit side. So here, trial balance as on 31st March 2021. Cost of goods sold. Debit side, 5 lakh. Debit balance. Opening stock. Remember, opening stock already we have considered in cost of goods sold. So opening stock will not be taken in trial balance. Ignore then closing stock 50,000. Closing stock is an asset. So debit balance. So closing stock debit side 50,000. Salaries and wages. It is an expenditure. Debit balance 50,000. Sales is an income. Credit side. So 8 lakh rupees sales credit column. Plant and machinery is an asset. Debit column 2 lakh. Drawing. Debit column 50,000. Investment is an asset. Debit column 4 lakh. Credit up is a liability, so credit balance 1 lakh. The last one capital, credit side 4 lakh, that's all. Now, if there are no errors in the books of account, then total of debit column and credit column will be equal. Now we have to find out separately what is the total of debit and what is the total of credit. So if you find the total of credit side, 8, 9, 10, 13, 13 lakh is the total on the credit side. Whereas debit side total, if you calculate, you are getting 12,50,000. That means trial balance is not tallied. The total of debit and total of credit are not equal. There may be some errors in the books of accounts. So whatever is the difference, that difference will be temporarily put in a new account called suspense account. So suspense account is a temporary account which is opened whenever the trial balance does not tally debit and credit side both are not equal then we make suspense account here it is not equal credit side 13 lakh debit side 12 lakh 50 thousand 50 thousand is the difference the difference 50 thousand now this difference will be written in that column which has a lower total the lower total is on debit side so debit side i am taking 50 thousand suspense account now the total in both the columns will be equal 
Now the total will be 13 lakh. 13 lakh is the total in both the columns. That's all. This is the first problem on trial balance. Now, second problem. From the following details, generalize the transactions. Generalize means we have to pass the journal entries for the given transactions. So date December month is given, all the transactions are given, amount is given. The format of journal is like this. General entries, date, particulars, LF, ledger, folio, debit, credit. Now the first transaction is December 1st, the December 1. The transaction was started business with cash 10,000. The owner has started the business by investing 10,000 rupees cash. Cash is coming in the business. Debit what comes in. Remember the rule. When cash comes in the business, cash should be debited. When cash goes out of the business, cash should be credited. Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. So here the owner has started the business, cash is coming in, so cash is debited. Cash account debit 10,000. When the owner invests the money in the business, it is called capital. It is called capital. So cash account debtor 10,000 to capital account 10,000. Being the business started with cash narration. After every passing the entry, it is better to give the narration, explanation of the entry. Being business started with cash. First entry over. Second entry fifth. Bought goods for cash. Bought goods means purchased goods. When we purchase the goods, goods are coming in. So actually the entry is goods account debit because goods are coming in. So instead of writing goods, it is better to write purchases. And when we are paying the cash, cash is going out. So cash is credited. So entry will be purchases account data for 4,000 to cash account 4,000. Purchases debited, cash credited, being the goods purchased for cash. Then 10th, sold goods to Hemant. It's a credit sale because name is given. Sold goods to Hemant. So Hemant is the receiver. So Hemant should be debited. In personal account, the rule is debit the receiver, credit the giver. Here we are selling the goods to Hemant. Hemant is receiving. So Hemant should be debited. Hemant account data to sales. When we sell the goods, sales should be credited. Remember the point? When we purchase the goods, purchases should be debited. When we sell the goods, sales should be credited. So Hemant account data to sales. 2000 being the goods sold on credit. 10th over. Next 15th. Sold goods for cash. We sold the goods and we received the cash. Cash comes in. So cash should be debited. So cash account data to sales account. Cash account data 1000 to sales account 1000. Whether goods are sold on cash or on credit, sales account should be created. See here, Hemant account data to sales, cash account data to sales. Both are sales, but here it is a credit sale and here it is a cash sale. If cash is coming in, cash should be debited. If goods are sold on credit, the person should be debited. That's it. Next, 20th. Received cash from Hemant. Received cash, so cash is coming in, so cash should be debited. And who is the giver? Hemant is the giver. Giver should be credited. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. Hemant is giver, so credit Hemant. So entry will be cash account debtor to Hemant account. Cash account debtor to Hemant account 1500, being cash received. Now, 25th. Paid for rent. Paid for rent means we have paid cash for rent. Cash is going out. So cash should be credited. And what is the expense here? Rent is the expense. So rent account debtor to cash. So rent account debtor to cash find it, being rent paid. Next 28th. Purchased goods from Raju. It's a credit purchases because name is given. Whenever we purchase the goods, purchase account should be debited 
एंड हु इज द गिवर नाउ राजू इज द गिवर तो परचेज अकाउंट डेट आर टू राजू सो परचेज अकाउंट डेट आर फाइव थाउजेंड टू राजू फाइव थाउजेंड बींग द गुड्स परचेज ऑन क्रेडिट नेक्स्ट थर्टी एथ कैश पेड टू राजू वी आर पेइंग द कैश कैश इज गोइंग आउट सो कैश शुड बी क्रेडिटेड हु इज द रिसीवर राजू इज द रिसीवर डेबिट द रिसीवर तो राजू अकाउंट डेट आर टू कैश Raju account debt are to cash two thousand. Last entry received commission. When we receive commission, cash is coming in, so cash should be debited. Why cash is coming in? Because of commission. Commission should be created. So entry will be cash account debt are to commission. Cash account debt are to commission filed. Being the commission received. Here being the cash paid to Raju. That's it. so this is the second problem completed passing the general entries so so far two problems have completed first problem on preparing the trial balance second problem on passing the journal entries now the third problem it is asking you to prepare the ledger accounts in the next video i'll explain about this third problem third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth up to ninth problem i'll do it in the next video now in this video 10th and 11th problem i will complete it now see the 10th point. prepare a trial balance <clears throat> as on 31st july 2019 from the following balances of mr rajwansh the owner of the business is rajwansh he has provided all the ledger account balances and we have to make the layer trial balance as usual remember the rules for making trial balance debit all assets expenses and losses Credit all incomes, gains, or liabilities. If you remember those rules easily, we can make the trial balance. And I suggest you all my viewers, all my students, please keep a notebook, calculator, pen beside you while I am explaining every point. You should note it down. Then only you can be able to remember. Otherwise, we'll forget it. So, if you want the complete command, perfect knowledge, always follow my instructions. Now. The trial balance will be like this. Mr. Rajwansh, date, serial number, particulars, debit, credit. Now, first item, capital. I told you capital will show credit balance. So capital ten thousand credit. Capital credit ten thousand. Sales return. Remember, sales will be credited and sales return will be debited. Opposite. Remember the rule. Sales credited always and sales return will be. Debited. So sales return one thousand debit. Sales return debit column one thousand. Then drawings always will be debited. Capital will be created. Drawings will be debited. So drawings five thousand debited. Then bills payable. Bills payable is a liability. It will be credited. So bills payable credit column five thousand. Then sales always credited. So sales fifteen thousand credit column. Furniture. Is an asset, so debit side. Furniture debit column two thousand. Creditor is a liability. Then twelve thousand. So creditors credit side twelve thousand. Then interest received is an income. It will show credit balance. So interest received fifteen hundred credit column. Then purchase return. Remember purchases will show debit balance. Purchase return will show credit balance. Write it down. So purchase return always will show credit balance. So credit side, purchase return credit side two thousand five hundred. Then comes wages, it's an expense. So debit side, wages five hundred. Next comes bank overdraft. If only bank is given, we would have treated as an asset. But bank overdraft is a liability. It's a bank loan. So bank overdraft is a liability. So credit balance. Bank order of credit side eight thousand seven hundred. Opening stock asset fifteen thousand. So opening stock fifteen thousand. Next comes cash asset two thousand five hundred. Next purchases debit side nine thousand. Purchases nine thousand. Rent one thousand. Expense debit side rent one thousand. Bad debts. Bad debt is a loss, and it will be debited. All expenses and losses will be debited. So bad debts seven hundred. So bad debts seven hundred debit side. 
Next, bills receivable. It's an asset. So bills receivable 3,500 debit side. Last one, data. Data is an asset. So debit side 14,500. That's all. We have taken all the items. I have explained you which item will be taken in debit and credit column. Now, if you find the total on debit and credit side, fortunately, we don't have any difference. Both the debit column and credit column total is 54,700. No suspense account. In the first two problem, we got a suspense account because there is a difference in debit and credit balances. But here in this case, no difference between debit and credit balance. So the time balance is tallied 54,700. That's it. Now, 11th problem. See the 11th problem. From the following balances, prepare a trial balance. As usual, just now we have done. So here trial balance, serial number, particulars, debit, credit. Drawings will show debit balance, 4, 000, uh, 2000. So drawings, debit side, 2000. General expenses, 4740. Debit side, all expenses will be debited. 4740, debit column. Building is an asset, debit column, 20,000. Then stock, stock is an asset, debit side, 16,540, debit side. Wages is an expense, debit, 8,515. Then debtor is an asset, debit, 6,280. Then creditor is a liability, so credit side, 2,500. Then bad debts is a loss, bad debt is a loss, so debit column, 550. Then loan to Ravi. Loan to Ravi means this businessman, this sole trader has given a loan. When loan is given, it is an asset. When loan is taken, it is a liability. But here it is given loan to Ravi. That means loan is given to Ravi. It's an asset. So debit side. 7,880. Next comes sales. Sales credit side, 68,000. Then purchases, debit side, 40,000. Bank overdraft, credit side, 10,000. Bank overdraft is a liability. That's all, all the items we have taken. Again in this problem, the debit and credit totals are not equal. Now, the debit side, it is 106,505. The debit total is 106,505. Whereas credit total, if you calculate, you are getting 80,500. That means trial balance is not tallied, just like the first problem. The difference we are getting. How much is the difference? 26,005. Now this difference 26,005 will be put in suspense account. It will be written in that column where the total is less. The total is less in credit side. So credit side, suspense account 26,005, this difference. Now the total both the sides will be equal. 106,505. That's all. So in this first video on this, in this unit number one, Four problems I have solved. First problem, second problem, and last, 10th and 11th problem. Remaining problems, I will continue, inshallah, in the next video. I'm not well. That's why my voice is uh, breaking. It's not clear. But I'm putting my 100% effort to explain you for the benefit of my students. So if you're satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your group, among your friend circle, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and give your comments and by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video.